purse strings, how the money is spent. And when woman controls the money and how it's spent, she now comes first. Her considerations have primacy, right? She gets first say, woman, how much money do we have? I want to do this. And she says, oh no, we don't have that kind of money. Oh no. Now she's telling him what he can and can't have. Men, we need to take that kind of control back. The pendulum needs to swing back. We need to control our own destinies. And MGTOW is, is the vehicle. It's the mode of thinking. And it's not new. This is old school coming back into men's heads. Fuck them. I don't need them. I can cook my own food or I can pay a maid to clean. I can get a hooker for sex. And if I want companionship, I can get companionship that doesn't cost me my fucking sanity. And it doesn't cost me half of my shit when the friendship is dissolved. Right? The companionship. Women don't deserve to own you. There is nothing they have done that allows them to make any sort of legitimate claim to ownership of you and your efforts and your resources. Yet there they are in our lives. A gynocentric world has destroyed masculinity and here we are fucking paying for it on a daily basis from those two stupid ass bitches in the hardware store that I described, right? Saying, oh, we're having a meeting of the minds. I said, well, it's gonna be a short and small meeting, isn't it, right? Fucking put them right down. I am sick and tired of their shit. Men come first, and in my life, definitely, I now come first. As MGTOW, I come first. I'm no longer married. I'm no longer stuck having to suffer in the paradigm the shithole paradigm of this modern fucked up world. Men, go your own way. Make your own way. But realize the pitfalls and traps that this culture has in place to immediately grab you back and suck you in. Right? Remember Al Pacino trying to get out of the mafia, right? They keep trying to get out and they keep sucking me back in, right? Women will keep trying to suck you back into it and get you to sacrifice yourself. Put your own nuts on the fucking chopping block and castrate yourself. That's what they want. And sadly, they've done it to the Japanese culture. Japanese men now try and satisfy Japanese women. They've tried and they've struggled, but they fucking lost as well. And the Japanese culture, the economy, their production is going down. Once one of the most powerful productive nations. It's the island state of Japan. It's fucking riddled with, with uh, fucking volcanoes. It's rife with fucking earthquakes shaking the piss out of them. Fucking tsunamis. Godzilla. They got all kinds of problems there. And they persevered and became a superpower in World War II. Right. an economic superpower after World War II. And what brought Japan down? What brought Japan down? Women. Feminism. That is what brought Japan down. Can you fucking believe it? It wasn't their inability. It wasn't their ignorance. It wasn't their lack of intelligence. They innovate, they take an idea that someone else has and they make it better times a hundred. Who's doing that now? China, where's Japan in all this? Fuck, we don't know. Men always come first. We need to get back to that mentality and enforce it and never, ever, ever relinquish that again, ever. Ever. The English have a way of having women. English men that are wealthy and powerful. I'm going to describe it to you. And you fucking MGTOW in England. You can tell me if I'm right or not. Typically this is wealthy men. 
typically this is men who have chosen either a bachelor lifestyle or they're divorced but they're wealthy they get a female housekeeper it is her job to cook to clean and to service his cock if he wants it she, her job is to learn what he desires and give it to him without him having to ask for it that's her job she gets paid for it but she's not his wife she's not his mistress she doesn't get to tell him what to do she never fucking gets to complain her life exists as an employee now he provides a bedroom so that she can be there first thing in the morning to make his coffee or his tea and to lay out his newspaper and slippers but she doesn't get to sleep with him unless he wants and then he kicks her ass out the moment she fucks up she's fired and that is a very 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 small percentage of men that know how to do this and it's part of the rules it's the way the system works and the women that subscribe to that understand their place in a man's life perhaps those women that do that understand understand and are submissive enough to realize that they've got it good they live in his house that means they're warm they have water and food they have a bed they get a paycheck yes they get a retirement out of it the man takes very good care of her that way but she's not being paid to run a multi-million dollar company she's being paid to cook clean and suck his dick take care of him it is not I repeat not skilled labor not like a man's skilled labor that is why she gets the equivalent of twice the minimum wage maybe three times who knows what the deal is right that's up to the individual man and woman to negotiate but he's not negotiating a relationship he's negotiating a servant women should serve men if anything at all exists between a man and a woman a man should always come first that is this video you only live twice right I am now on my second life right you John you only live twice right I lived the, the, the married lifestyle all right I had my sons I found out how I fucked up right how I lost it and once you lose it you can't get it back that life died John you only live twice now I'm MGTOW 100% right I live my lifestyle the way I want I make every decision the way I want I eat whatever the fuck I want every meal I create wealth I do I create wealth I am as powerful as I can be and I'm not hindered by the constant fucking nagging and bickering with a woman and yes I'm driving into a snowy fucking blizzard that is this video men you only live twice okay. and if you're lucky enough you start off life and you don't fuck up and you spend your whole life living as a man should and that is that a man always comes first it starts today it starts right now it restarts every day men looking in the mirror realizing and recognizing you're a man and you're responsible for you you are you're responsible for you you say I have the penis MGTOW is freedom and unless you maintain MGTOW you don't maintain freedom as soon as you give that up you're negotiating away your freedom your satisfaction your personal joy what a fucked up world when we lost that and thank God for Tanaka right thank God Tiger has taught me that one valuable lesson through the movie James Bond <laughs> right you only live twice thank you Ian Fleming thank you Albert Broccoli thank you Harry Salzman 
those are the directors of uh, producers or whatever of those movies back then. Thank you, Sean Connery, for being a fucking man and portraying that role so very well. Thank you for that. And I think James Bond is going to have to be featured in more videos about MGTOW because he teaches some important lessons. He does. He teaches some important lessons. And the first which is he keeps trying to help women and they keep fucking dying or, or they just disappear because they make stupid decisions. Right? They don't fucking listen. Sometimes he gets them to listen and he saves everything like he did in Goldfinger, right? When he boned Pussy Galore and she changed sides and saved uh, Fort Knox. Great movie. Right? All right. You guys have a great day. MGTOW, right? MGTOW is freedom. I have the penis. Say it, live it, love it. Semper Fi.